Hey everyone, Tom was here, back at it with another unboxing video. Uh, really, this is all about um, CSR collectibles. I can't believe it's not horror or mystery envelope. Um, but also, we made a recent trade um, that came out of the, the most recent CPA boxes as well. I'm trying not to get CSR and CPA confused. So, let's get into it. Trade first, then we open up this i can't believe it's not horror mystery envelope on tom was here hey how do you like this <laughs> i'm daddy's rail and you're watching tom was here <laughs> Okay, so I did open up this trade. Um, I always like to check trade just to make sure. Um, sometimes I'll save them for the video. I did not hear. Um, but this was a trade from our friends at Box Pop and Beauty, um, who started the Mystery Box Bunker, of which I have been in for many years. But I never actually did a trade with them before. I think this is our first. And I traded for... Um, it's what I was looking for since I saw the CPA boxes opened. Uh, the Linda Hamilton gun. Beckett Witness. Gun has some weight to it, too. It's got a nice heft. Um, very cool. Um, thanks to them for um, sending that. Came in one piece. Cross country, because they are on the Pacific side, and I am in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, so that traveled a distance. They also were kind enough to send a pin. They have a business card, and they have a sticker as well with the business card reverse side there. I haven't done business cards, that would be cool. Um, I sent them a trade and sent them stickers as well. So very, very cool. So I will be adding the uh, Linda Hamilton gun as well as probably their sticker or their thing to the cabinet of curiosity somewhere uh, if I have space for it. Um, so I like to throw things up there. I have a few other YouTubes, YouTubers things somewhere in there. I don't know, it's kind of a mess in there. But anywho. <laughs> The gun will definitely be making its way over here somewhere, if I can put it. I may have to rearrange this whole thing. Anywho, we have this. This is from CSR Collectibles, uh, and this is the I Can't Believe It's Not Horror Mystery Envelope. I just remember there was, I think it was, I mean, it's all flat, so sadly they were including things like a trick-or-treat um like mystery prizes into the boxes, but they sadly did not make the envelopes. Uh, so I know this is just gonna be all flats in here, various sizes. So we are gonna, okay, all right. Not sure how this is done on this one. So we're just gonna maybe pull it out and see. Um, okay, all right. So, we got, okay, so I wasn't sure if it's, it was three or four, um, but it's three signed flats in here so of various sizes, and we have, all packaged very well, they're all taped with like a painter's tape. Okay. All right, first one here. I suddenly have an abundance of, so it will be available um, once I get all the tape off it. And it is an eight by 10 of Peter Weller, Robocop. Um, I just got 11 by 14 metallic um, that I am keeping. I did put that in my office. Um, so this eight by 10, and I of course have this 11 by 17 Nintendo version here. Um, so this will be up for trade or sale if anybody wants a Weller. Um, definitely uh, hit me up on that one. But it'll probably be in the Mystery Box Bunker and other places. Trade, sell, thread, whatever. And I'm not knocking the tape. I appreciate the reason why it's there. Um, it's just there's a lot of it. And it's tied into everything. Okay. All right. So the second item here um, is, I believe, an 11 by 17. Could be a 12 by 18. Um, and it is Say Anything. And I've, I've actually seen this autograph before. This is a John Cusack 
um, Beckett uh, COA here. Now, I will probably have, oh, this is an old, this is a Beckett Witness from, but like an old Beckett, like an older Beckett Witness one. Um, I will probably have this one up for trader sale as well. The reason being is that uh, I have been looking into getting a John Cusack autograph. I did for a long time have one on a Con Air that I ended up selling to clear some space. But I want I want a John Cusack autograph on either a gross point blank or a high fidelity. That's two of my favorites of his. So if anyone wants to do an even, if somebody has a gross point blank around the same size or high fidelity and wants to do a trade for this, we can trade. But beyond that, it will be up for sale or trade. So someone can let me know on that. I think it's the last one. So I couldn't remember if they were three or four or they promised three or four. Uh, this last one here may be a keeper. It may actually save me money um, because this person is coming to my local con. Once I get the painter's tape off of this, they're coming to my local con mid next month. And I was strongly considering doing an autograph with them. And I probably would have done it on the item that I received here. So this actually may be a keeper for me. Um, not necessarily like this version of it, but uh, this is a 12 by 18, I think, because I'm trying to see like a comparison. Yeah, this is 11 by 17 for the John Cusack. So this is a 12 by 18, and it is a Kiefer Sutherland with uh, Jack um, character name put on there. 24. Um, so 24, Special Agent Jack Bauer. Um, 24 and I, yeah i think i'm gonna hold on to this one uh Kiefer is coming to steel city con um he will be here in mid-december uh that may save me from having to get an autograph from him and i can just get a picture and we'll be good there um which is probably what i'm gonna do and so that's good i wasn't sure what if i was gonna get Kiefer, what to put him on um so yeah i uh i do feel values pretty good on these Oh, honest, I it's been a blurry. I can't even remember what it, what was the price tag for this. Um, but this will be up for trade. This will be up for trade, and especially to those if they have a gross point blank or um, high fidelity. And this one is going to be a keeper. So let me know your thoughts on the um, CSR mystery boxes did you grab any of them did you get that i can't believe it's not horror mystery envelope uh and did you get different pulls i'd be curious about that i'm always wonder if everybody gets the same pulls on certain things or if, or if it's just kind of randomized so guys thanks so much for watching if you are new here make sure to like share and subscribe if you like to support me on patreon like john bailey did you can do so link is in the description below if you'd like to buy a t-shirt almost your t-shirt you can do so at spreadshirt as well as links to my ebay store facebook page instagram tiktok and the pennsylvania autograph collectors association links are in the description below um, but when it comes to the next mystery box or the next video we will see you zoom but until then bye everyone